Hey man, your channel is called Eternius Toys, so where is He-Man? That is a good question. A better question might be, where is He-Man lately? When I started this channel, it was fresh off the heels of spending about a year or so taking tons of pictures and throwing them on my Instagram page, Eternius Toys. That was about 95% Masters of the Universe based. It centered around classics, vintage, and sometimes Masterverse, Origins figures, or Funko Pops, if I happen to pick one up or receive one as a gift. I know Origins is a big deal with many of you, but seeing what it has become, I am glad that I never got into it that big. I mainly used it as a way to fill some gaps in my collection, like picking up Mosquito or the Green Goddess. The thing is, outside of maybe Beatles CDs and books, I've never been one who was collecting one certain thing forever. I have different interests and certain properties that it seems I have and will always be a fan of. So, after a while, I realized I had hit a finishing point with Motu. Close the cabinet up, and unless I think of some reason to get one out, a quick YouTube short, for example, they just kind of hang out in the Masters of the Universe cabinet. That's the thing with collecting. I'm not the target audience for these toy companies anymore. I don't want to and will not buy every version of He-Man, Skeletor, and Merman they put out from now until I'm dead in the ground. I don't need them. I am all set. I have my vintage ones, my classic ones, and some random others, but I am not a completist. Can you imagine... At one point, between Masterverse, Origins, Mega Constructs, and whatever else I'm forgetting, He-Man was not only competing with all the other toy lines for my money for a while, he was competing with himself. So when the channel started, I was finishing up my Masters collecting, getting into a few other toy lines like 90s Star Wars, Batman Retro, McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse. I didn't want to change the channel name just because I was into other properties. That seemed crazy, especially when I had spent a lot of time branding everything. And with regards to He-Man, though I've tried to keep some Masters of the Universe content on the channel, I'm not going to be buying or reviewing any in the future. Same with Star Wars Black Series and probably Star Wars altogether for the most part. I am on the lookout for a vintage Job of the Hut and Max Rebo band for a crazy cheap price and a few other random 90s figures, but... Nothing new is of interest unless I catch a great deal at Ross. That's hard to pass up. When it comes to DC Multiverse, I have shelves full of these toys. I'm not going to waste my time and money keeping up with toy reviewers buying figures I really don't want. But if you know me at all, you know I have a list. The 78 movie Superman is pre-ordered and on the way. The rest of my list is a wish list. If they announce them, I'll buy them. And this is the wish list. Any figures from the Batman 89 film or Batman Returns. Any other Dark Knight trilogy figures they come out with, I'm going to get them. Anarchy, the Ventriloquist and Scarface, the Mad Hatter, and Black Mask. I will get any of those figures. Then, I will, in all likelihood, have a complete collection of DC Multiverse figures. As I think back to starting on YouTube and really trying to make it happen, I think back to eight years ago. My daughter and I started a YouTube channel when she was around three years old. We opened toys and had a blast. The channel didn't get a lot of views, but we loved doing it. It's still active and every now and then she will put a video on it. I kind of thought this channel would be an extension of that in some way. A place we could have fun together. It sometimes is, but it's more of my personal escape. It's where I do whatever I feel like. Block out the noise of the world, and I share those videos with whoever is watching. This is my hobby. This is who I am now. I was a songwriter, a musician, a movie maker, an author, a record collector, a teacher, a salesman, a toy collector. Sometimes I'm still all of those things. But most of the time, I work and I make videos. Of all the things I've ever written, created, filmed, whatever, the most people have heard or seen it on this channel, and that means so much to me. It's really unbelievable. I've made over 1,000 videos and shorts combined for this channel. It's crazy. Most all are toy-related, 
and I know that every YouTube guru out there says to niche down, but I'm not concerned. This isn't my job, and I really doubt it can be. So pretty much from here forward, this will be an everything channel. Music, writing, drawing, movies, games, action figures, just everything I'm interested in. And yes, from time to time, He-Man might show up.